Hey guys, hey, how's it going? I'm trying to sell this Carlo Gambino check. One of the biggest mob bosses that ever lived. What's it say? He says it was for a hit. It was a lot of money back then. <laughs> Usually I don't buy stuff from guys like this because the guy was, he was a murderer, you know? <laughs> yeah. Decided to come to the pawn shop today to try to sell my Carlo Gambino check. He's one of the biggest mob bosses of all time, bigger than Al Capone. I'm hoping to get a couple thousand for it. So where did you get this thing? Well, it was a gift I got a few years back. I collect a lot of mafia memorabilia, mob stuff. So why do you want to sell it? Just looking to try to make a few bucks, see what I can do. I got so much stuff right now, I'm just going to start dwindling it out. Carlo Gambino was a Sicilian mobster who came to New York City in the 1920s and created a national crime syndicate. And according to legend, a lot of his enemies ended up being buried in concrete, hence the term cement overcoat. You know who the George guy is? That was uh, one of his business partners for SGS Associates. That's what the checks are drawn out for us, like a labor union, which is the company that they devised. They were crooked to begin with. I mean, there wasn't a lot of respect for the law and the rules. There wasn't a lot of mobsters back in the day that actually had checking accounts. Yeah, I just imagine it was a cash business, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm a little suspicious that Carlo Gambino's signature is on it. He was the head of a major crime family. For some reason, I don't think he would be signing his own checks. This is my thing with it. I really don't know what it's worth, and I don't know if that's his signature. And I would like to find out if this George signature is worth any money. You mind if I have someone check it out, just make sure everything's legit before we Definitely. go any further? I got a buddy who's an expert on handwriting, signatures, all that. Let me get him down here. He'll take a look at it. We'll get it all figured out. Sound good to you? Sounds great. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm looking forward to the expert coming in. Let me know if these signatures are authentic or not. Hoping it's not from a secretary that can be no head. So I called in my buddy Drew to come in and take a closer look. I'm with Authentic Autographs Unlimited, and I'm a forensic docket examiner. When Rick ever needs a signature authenticated, he gives me a call. Oh, what do we have here? Some mob check. All right. Well, I see that uh, we have the name Carlo Gambino on there. Also, it looks like that's George Schiller. He was a partner of his. Uh, he was a Russian businessman, not officially part of the mob. To be a made man, you have to be Sicilian. Carlo Gambino is one of the founding members of the Mafia crime families out of New York. Passed away in 1974, one of the most ruthless of all, definitely a killer. His memorabilia is pretty valuable if you're that type of collector. Do you know what this SGS Associates was? Just started off pretty legitimate, mainly as a front. I see that's dated 1962. It was closed just a few years after that because the FBI was starting to get onto them. So they laundered money there? Uh, yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a closer look, see what we have. I've studied Carlo Gambino's signature quite a bit. There's a lot of different things we're going to be looking for. First thing, the date. This was signed long before uh, he passed away, 1974, from a heart attack in his sleep, which is pretty amazing considering he was a killer. For legitimate checks, you can see that the line is perforated on the upper top. Carlo Gambino's signature. A lot of the uh, middle structures are in line. Uh, he's got a certain degree of slant that's highly consistent in his signature, very consistent with capital G. One thing good about bank checks is we got a lot of evidence here. If you put all the evidence together, this is absolutely authentic. Nice. So, Drew, how much do these things go for? We're dealing with three different signatures. I'd have to say retail, $1,000 plus. OK. I'd say that's about right. Thanks. I appreciate it. You bet. No problem. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Great. So how much do you want for it? About 800 I can't do 800 I'll go like 400 bucks on it. Listen, man, to sell that thing, I gotta put it in a frame, I gotta do all sorts of other stuff to make it look cool so someone can hang it on their wall. 700 No. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse, 500 bucks. I mean, that's what I can go on the thing. There's not a lot of money to be made there. Final offer. Final offer. All right, deal. Okay, all right. Corey, write him up. Let's go do some paperwork, buddy. I settled for 500 for the check. I think it was a fair price. $500 we're gonna put away and I'm gonna go hopefully take a trip.